guys. I thought I'd do another unboxing video today and a bit of a review as well. I'm going to be looking at today this. It's the Brezza or Brezia uh, USB digital microscope. You can get these for around between 30 and 50 pounds. This one was uh, 29.99. Basically, it's a microscope that plugs straight in to your computer or laptop so you can look at things close up. Now, for me, this is particularly handy as I teach young Luke at home. It's going to be great for his science lessons and just generally looking at things close up. So let's have a look at it, shall we? It's quite a bulky box, but quite compact. We'll open it up, and straight away you see the top where you've got a, the on off button and making it lighter and dimmer. Let's take this all out. So, in here we have a box of goodies. Destruction manual. and the microscope itself. Take this out of its bag. At first look, it looks pretty impressive. Well, yes, this is plastic, but uh, you wouldn't expect metal for around £30. You've got a camera button here, so you can take pictures, on off button, going darker, going brighter for your lamp. Here you've got the times 20, times 80, and times 350. In the box, we have USB lead, a dust cover, Quite handy, really. A box with some slides in. You've got a couple of slides here. Uh, oh, what's that? What's that? There's a horse, a house fly leg, which you can have a look at. Various other bits, uh, stem of cotton, and you've got some blank ones as well. Oh, and a little pouch of silica, silica gel in there. You have a disc with some programs and drivers. A pair of tweezers. And a pair of pointers for helping you get things ready. See, to get things on your slide and dissecting and things like that. I suppose you could use them for acupuncture as well. So, let's plug this into the computer and see what sort of um, picture we get and see what it's like. I've installed the drivers and I found out that one of the programs which comes with it, which is Photomizer or Photomeza, doesn't actually work with this microscope so I give it a bit of a thumbs down there but the other one that does come with it does seem to work so let's put something in there I think we shall have a look uh, where are we at a housefly leg so there it goes oh and there we have it so Focus there. So here is a leg. It's not a hundred percent sharp, but then it was only thirty quid. I'm not buying a five hundred, six hundred pound microscope. Oh, they're a little bit better there. Go on to 
see if I can get the underneath light. There we go. Ah ha ha, there we go, that's better. Getting it in the right setting would be nice. There we go. Let's make it go 80 times. In the middle, okay. Okay, let's try 350 times. You might want to turn the back lights off on that. So look, that's just. Let's turn the light down a little bit. And that's 350 times. Let's go back to. 80 times. Another feature that I like about this camera, first of all, it's got a cam it's got a digital camera built in so I can take a picture. There we go, one nice little picture of a leg. Another thing I like about this camera is the top as you see, it comes out of the out of the base. There's the base there. Which means you can have a look at things that don't have necessarily go under the microscope. So let's have a look at my enter button on my keyboard. And there we have an enter button. Let's find the enter side. Oh, there we go. There we are. Enter. Okay, it's upside down and backwards, but enter. Or you could have a look at your hand. So let's do that. Bit of there, but look at that nice and bumpy hand. Or you could even look at your computer monitor. So here we go. If you ever wondered what your computer monitor looked like close up, at twenty times. Like that. So let's try 30 times, 80, 80 times even. I doubt I could hold it still enough for. There we, go. there we go. That's what it looks like at 80 times. Pretty cool light show. So there we have it the Presser USB digital microscope. Not too bad. Um. Software could be better. It's not brilliant and I did have a few problems with it. But, all in all, for the price I think it's pretty good. I give it a thumbs up. So if you like this video, please comment in the doobly-doo below. Um, thumbs up, even subscribe. Because I will be doing some more films and uh, I have got planned some really good tutorials for you. Have a good one guys.